All right, it looks like the last parts to my network upgrade finally arrived. I've got an eight port managed switch and a five port unmanaged switch. The dumb switch is actually gonna go in here, this way. And I'm gonna have it in my office hooked up to my new daily driver workstation, as well as my work laptop, and to power my mini server rack, even though most stuff in here doesn't need a multi-gig switch, it, you know, it's, it's okay, I've got extra ports. But then the managed switch I'm gonna go put in the data center, check this out. But also in here I have my Zima Cube NAS that's gonna go back to the data center as well with my multi-gig switch. Let me show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a little bit of consolidation, ripping the drives out of Synology and putting them into the Zima Cube as well as ripping the drives out of this little DIY NAS that I have hooked up to a Zima Blade because I intend to put the multi-gig switch back here since both the Zima Cube and my Driva store have two and a half gig networking on board. That way, as I transfer and use my 4K footage for my videos, it'll move in and out of my LAN a lot faster. And because now I have a two and a half gig router, I might be able to get some faster upload speeds as well when I'm sending these drives up to YouTube or out somewhere else, maybe for editing or whatever I'm doing with them. And then I've got a, what, 12 port, 10 gig switch back here. Is it 12? No, I think it's just eight. It's eight. I've got an eight port, 10 gig unmanaged switch back here, hooked up to my AI PC and the all flash NAS from TerraMaster, driving a couple of, uh, mm, well, that's a mess. I didn't want to show that, but you'll see more of this pretty soon. And, uh, and my PowerEdge R430, I need to do something with this. What should I do with this, uh, this rack mount server? I don't know. Anyway, a lot of big changes coming to the LAN here real soon. So stick around and uh, check it out. Oh, that's gross. Oh man, that's nasty.